This is day nine of the Switching to Linux 30 day challenge. Okay, so I've been on Linux for over a week now, and if you saw my day five one, you'll see exactly how disappointed I was on day five. Uh, that was probably a little soul crushing, but things have gotten better. Things have been cruising along, and I wanted to touch on the highlights and also the lowlights. So highlights of this so far have been Caden Live. Oh my God, I love this software. The more I use it, the faster I get at making videos. So I can make a five minute video much like this one. I can finish editing in about 10 minutes, render time on my 16 thread or eight core processor, one minute. That's insane. So literally with 15 minutes, it takes me to cut and splice everything together and make this video that you're watching right now. Uh, so Caden Live, just better and better by the day. Love it. Couldn't live without it. If I ever go back to Windows, I will install Caden Live and use it on Windows. Other pro, Krita. Uh, big shout out to Zeno Bardock. He left it in the comments and said, hey, uh, you said you didn't like give that much. You should try Krita. And Krita was a really interesting, cool paint program, a different kind of take. Um, I view GIMP as just a bad photocop or Photoshop, uh, where Krita was like what a painter would use or a digital artist would use because of how it was laid out. It had a just a great aesthetic to it. And also, I, I honestly like making a thumbnail in it because it feels like I'm painting a picture and not just you know, over, you know, I can't even explain it, but it, it's just a really good experience. I love the feel of Krita, and I'm going to continue to use it. Obviously, this thumbnail sucks. Uh, I know that, and I have a lot to learn, but that was only after about a 10-minute tinkering around with it because I just started using the software today, and I just really have fallen in love with it that quickly. So Krita, awesome. And, uh, you know, it, Overall, the Linux experience has been just fantastic. It's continued to be that way, so much so when I get to the low lights here, I'm probably going to just emulate most of this stuff. I know that's just horrible to say, but a lot of it I'm just like, I have to have, and I don't want to go back to Windows at this point in time at day nine. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and cover the low lights. So for the low lights, Adobe Acrobat. I absolutely have to have this program. Uh, I can't get around it for my work. I edit way too many PDFs, and it is got pretty much a universal hold on PDFs. If you want to edit PDFs and use a lot of plugins and other things uh, that I'm used to using in Adobe, you pretty much have to use Adobe Acrobat, the full version. And I try to Libre draw and yes it's very good for a freeware PDF viewer. I, I can't speak enough good praise from it but at the same time it's no Adobe. Adobe has had that Acrobat and they've pretty much cornered the entire market. They have a giant monopoly and I just don't see anybody coming anywhere close to it. So Adobe Acrobat I pretty much have to use for my work. I've resigned myself to it. Um, I'm still working as far as the wine. I'm still getting a couple crashes and the plugin that I use for like e-discovery and things of that nature um, doesn't work very well in it. So I pretty much have to emulate this, which is fine. Um, second, just low light, GIMP. I hate GIMP. I'm sorry. I'm going to get some comments and you guys can you know, knock me all you want. I want to take that stupid fox and just crush him up after dealing with a week of that crap. I hate GIMP. It's horrible. I, 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 I'm sure they've put a lot of time and effort and years and years, but it's no Photoshop. It sucks. It's just a horrible experience. I just have such disdain, and I, I apologize if any of you guys worked on the GIMP project and you're watching this video, but I hate your product. <laughs> I just got to come out and say it. I hate GIMP. 
I'm not using it. I, I'm tired of it. I'd rather just do wine Photoshop and have tons of crashes. Or Krita, which I talked to about earlier, which I will be using all the time, but I, I, I just can't stand GIMP. I've, I've done a week. I, hell, I even made a little tutorial video of all the cool things I found. I still hate the product. I just, it's just cobbled together. It's just everywhere. I'm sitting there, I'm making layers, layers, and layers, and just, it's just not intuitive. I, I, ah, there's so much stuff I hate about GIMP. I thought it would go the other direction. I really did when I started this. But after nine days of using GIMP, I hate that friggin' fox, man. Yeah, it's just horrible. Anyways, moving on. Enough said. GIMP sucks, in my opinion. I know that's brutal, but it's the truth. And the third thing, there's a crappy game that got released, and a buddy of mine wanted to play with me called Fallout 76. And, of course, I gotta wait a little bit for the compatibility to have, but again, this is more of one of those Adobe situations where I'll probably just emulate it and be done with it. Uh, I haven't tried that yet. I have went ahead and loaded up QEMU, and I'll probably do a lot of the virtualization. I don't know yet if I'll do like a second video card with PCI pass-through or a straight emulation or, or might get crazy on this and uh, set up a Zen server and pipe a uh, Zen app and try and push it all through a server. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I end up going with on, on the emulation aspect of all these things. But those were the highlights and lowlights for day nine. Overall, I am loving Linux. It is great. I think it's probably going to be my daily driver moving forward just because I've enjoyed it so much. But I, there's an update for y'all, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, sorry for that gimp rant, but uh, it sucks. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.